Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Christmas Day Twin Flame reading. Merry Christmas to all of you that are celebrating Christmas. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, and that you're, you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So I'm going to bring in the Soul's Journey Oracle deck and the Power of Love for this Christmas Day reading. Um, here's the Power of Love as well. Two very powerful decks um, and I'm going to see what the current energy is for Twin Flames and how these energies are supporting you. Um, you could be really feeling it, quite emotional at this time because of Christmas and we're going to be having the full moon in Cancer tomorrow. Um, so the energies are always more intense around the moon cycles as well because we're really having to feel it. And Cancer is a water sign, so super duper emotional is what I would say. So make sure you look out for that reading for the full moon in Cancer. There will be one going up. Um, the weekly reading is now up, if that's of interest to you. And there is a, a Divine Feminine Power message for Christmas time as well. Um, you may find supportive if you're a Divine Feminine that's watching. And an Archangel Michael reading. So there's lots of readings going up um, to give you the support around this um, Christmas time. So let's see what comes through with the Soul's Journey Oracle Deck, first of all, for Christmas Day. Um, I will be getting messages from your twin flame, your other self, to see what it is that wants to be expressed in this energy today and on Christmas Day. There will be a DM to DF that goes up a bit later as well, if that's of interest to you. Um, and at the end of this reading, I will be getting messages from God, the university angels, of what you need to know about your journey and to give you some support and guidance as well. So what are the current energies on this Christmas day and how are these energies supporting you? So they're all going on the floor here, guys. And we've got the crown chakra coming through strong and throat chakra. Letting go of this worry. And you could be feeling super extra worried today, but you've got to let it go. And death, yeah. So having to feel so you can release. Um, something is ending as well. We've got root chakra here sacral chakra and solar plexus coming through here as well so, oh my goodness so i haven't had to um pick any cards so i'm going to leave if, i'm just going to pick three here there's a siren going off as well um, as i'm doing this reading so a lot going on for you i would say beautiful soul that's watching and you're in this deep acceptance of what is right now and crown chakra again and we have the third eye chakra here as well as the fr uh, throat chakra and the heart chakra and the bottom of the deck is courage come on guys the, the your connection with higher power with god the universe the angels is strengthening it's getting so strong um and that's what's given you the courage to to face you know things within you that creates this worry and to to accept what it is accept yourself and accept where you are in your life right now um and that will bring new fresh start so this is this re rebirth coming in and we've just um you know we're in the winter solstice and i've done that reading but you know what's going to be happening for twin flames for the next six months and lot a lot is changing you're letting go and leaving behind the old story and stepping into your divine feminine power, allowing yourself to receive and um, feeling so much more worthy and changing your story by being in your truth. Uh, so <clears throat> there is this death um, completion. There's, you're coming to an end of a cycle and opening up to these new beginnings, these new fresh starts, again, which come through with Archangel Michael message as well. But uh, you know, this worry, it's not getting you anywhere. It's just zapping your energy. It's getting you down. It's exhausting you. Um, so the only way that you can um, 
move forwards is releasing this worry and allowing yourself to receive help from God, the universe, the angels, surrendering to divine. Um, because, what you know, everything can be sorted out when you allow yourself to receive, as I said, when you're in your heart space, when you're showing God, the universe, the angels, that you are trusting and believing um, that everything is working out for you and you're responding to different situations that's causing this worry with love. <laughs> that's how you dissolve this worry is with love. Um, so something's ending and you're having to accept it. And at this Christmas is accepting, you know, that actually maybe your twin flame isn't physically with you right now. Accepting where you are on the journey instead of trying to fight it, trying to make something happen, forceful, controlling. Accepting actually this is where I am right now. I'm safe. There is nothing for me to worry about. Everything is working out for me. And I can step into this new beginning, this new fresh start when I choose that, when I accept when I surrender. So let's see what comes through with the power of love. Um, and it is, acceptance is uh, uncomfortable initially because it's like, oh, actually, this isn't where I want to be. This isn't what I want to be experiencing. Or this isn't, you know, about your, who you, you know, parts of yourself as well. But once you um, accept that's you opening your heart up and then you're allowing yourself to to receive new fresh energy self-love you realize that love of, of self is necessary to love another yeah that's what you've got to accept you can't love anybody else or show up for anybody else support anybody else when you're not with yourself and you may have tried that in the past where you're like yeah i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that and support this person blah 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 and actually it was coming from a place of exhaustion fear because of how you felt about yourself. This self-love is so important. And that is what's helping humanity. Healing this world. And that's what everyone's waking up waking up to. It is this self-love isn't about going and having a you know hot chocolate or you know going and having a massage and everything's gonna be okay because you're giving yourself some time. This is really giving this self-love throughout your life showing up for yourself in every situation the worrying situations that brings fear up it actually saying to yourself yeah it's okay to love yourself encourage yourself speak to yourself with love not to be against yourself not to be judging yourself and saying that it's all your fault and feeling this guilt blah 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 self-love is what's important to change your outer world and to change this world that we're living in as well transformation yeah which is the same, you know on top of death which is the same you are the power of love to move through sorry you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness yeah the power of love changes everything and compassion no more to be said give yourself compassion when you're you know if this worry is coming up and it, it, there's different situations that's happening where it's just like, oh my goodness. Give this compassion to yourself. Instead of being against yourself, saying, oh, I shouldn't be worried, I shouldn't be doing this, or I should have done this better, it's all my fault. That's just, cre worry creates more worry. And it's just you being against yourself. So you're just making the situation worse. When you're giving compassion to yourself of what you're worried about, saying it's okay, you don't have to behave like that anymore. That's your old self. <laughs> when you're just speaking to yourself with, you know, gentle words, being kind to yourself, it changes your vibration and the frequency that you're actually sending out into the universe, which will help you, um, the situation that's causing you worry. You'll see a different result. You'll know then that you there is nothing to worry about. So give this compassion to yourself today maybe you're uptight and you're upset because it's christmas day and nothing's happened with your twin flame give compassion accept that this is where you are christmas day and however that makes you feel be loving towards yourself and know that everything that you're going through right now is it's transforming your life it's helping you it's supporting you and this transformation this death it feels quite heavy it feels harsh it feels very painful 
having to accept certain things and to delve deep within ourselves um, and ask ourselves, you know, why it is that we're feeling certain pain? Why are we feeling guilt? Why are we feeling this? Why are we feeling that? That's what self-love is all about, is taking responsibility and soothing yourself. What you didn't get as a child from a parent, you know, a, a father figure or a mother figure, you're, you're having to do it for yourself now. And to say goodbye to that story, that isn't you anymore. It's like you, you've been, you, this reborn, you, you, this rebirth is like you've just been born and you're going to start your life from now on. Um, from the, the truth and patience. Yeah, have patience with yourself through this time, around Christmas time, giving this compassion to yourself and not to be hard on yourself that, you know, that, that worry's there. Observe this worry. Surrender this worry. Is what you need to do. Beautiful soul that's watching. Oh my goodness, that was quite um, deep, wasn't it? So let's see what it is that your other self, your twin flame, would love to share and express in this energy today on Christmas Day. And know that everything that's come through in this reading, um, and it resonates for you, that's what your, your divine counterpart, your twin flame, is um, facing within themselves as well and what they're changing in their life they're in this deep acceptance this you know giving this self-love learning to give compassion to themselves releasing this worry they're in this death this transformation moving into the new story um the same as you um so let's see what the messages are so i'm going to be using the silence deck for this um, message today from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I will get messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. Um, but remember, I'm just talking about energy. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female that's watching. Um, this is the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine energy and the Divine Feminine energy to the Divine Masculine. So. And I know that you, some of you that are watching, you're experiencing silence from your twin flame. And majority will be divine feminines as well. So I know how important these messages are. So that one flipped onto the tripod. What if you don't feel the real... What if you don't like, sorry, the real me? What if you don't like the real me? So that goes with self-love and acceptance. This worry that what if I open up, showing you my true authentic self, and then you don't like the real me, then you reject me, then you abandon me. Hmm. And the deeper message is, is you know, your what you're trying to do, divine feminines. If you're a divine feminine that's watching, is to accept you, the real you, not to think that you've got to be anything different but you. Huh. And you know, when you're when you accept yourself, and you you love yourself. That's when other. That's when you're ready to receive love from others. That's when you're ready to receive your divine masculine. Um, and your divine masculine is just here to reflect back to you what is going on with you and you have this fear that actually we know what if they don't like this about me what if they don't like that about me what about this what about that this worry that's what's going on within you your divine masculine is sharing that through this message today on christmas day what if you don't like the real me that's what your divine masculine is dealing with and that's what you're dealing with and it may not seem like it on the surface but that's what it is because you have the same court wounds so what is it coming through, please? Don't mind asking. What else is it you want to share and express? This is quite a heavy reading, I'd say. You light me up inside. Yeah, you light me up inside. <laughs> you light that fire within me. And there's fear coming through because my voice has changed. <clears throat> you light me up inside, but I do have this fear that, you know, if I go with this, that, that light, that love, that fire that's within me then you're going to reject me you're not going to um like who i truly am because when i've tried to be who i truly am before or i've tried to express myself and show up of who i'm in my true authentic self it, i've been let down i've been crushed no one's ever actually listened to me no one's ever taken me seriously no one's tried to change me or say this about me huh 
that's the deep message you let you light me up inside i love you so much and you know what it feels like that light inside it's amazing that's what you experience when your twin flame come into your life i want to be able to marry you love you and give you the world <laughs> I want to give you everything. I'm scared of this rejection. You're going to abandon me. That I'm going to step forwards and open up to you and it's all going to go wrong. So it's really hard for me to express myself because of things that have happened. And I'm trying to let go of the past. I'm trying to accept that I am good enough. I'm trying to give this compassion to myself and be patient with myself and... Give me time, I will contact you. I will contact you. And I want to marry you. I want to give you the world. I want to share my life with you. I know that you're my divine feminine. I know that we're meant to be with each other. But the fears and the beliefs, you know, that create the, the fears in the first place, they still linger. It still holds me back. But I will contact you. I will find the courage I will find the strength to open up to you. But I'm just dealing with myself and trying to understand why you do want me. <laughs> and that, you know, that you will love the real me. <clears throat> How beautiful is that? Oh, my goodness. That was very sincere from the Divine Masculine, wasn't it? So let's see what the Divine Feminines would love to share and express. So I'm going to use my debt messages from your other self. What is it the Divine Feminines want to share and express to the Divine Masculine? Nice, clear message. What is it they want to express, Divine Feminines, in this Christmas day, in this energy today? Please forgive me. So your Divine Feminine wants forgiveness, Divine Masculine. And a lot of Divine Feminines, you could be watching and saying, what? What have I got? Why, you know, why have they got to forgive me? But actually, a lot goes on. Our journeys are unique. <laughs> everybody's journey is different and it's not always about the divine masculine we hear about this you know the divine masculine does this does that and says that blah 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 the divine feminine's actions on this journey as well uh is crazy <laughs> so you could have behaved or said something that you really didn't mean or you actually wasn't sh because you wasn't showing up for yourself and choosing yourself your divine masculine actually felt this rejection um, so just put it into your situation how this is resonating to you how this message you know how you're receiving this message but please forgive me so the divine feminines are practicing this forgiveness of self um, and trying to let go of the past as well <laughs> um, so we are one the divine feminines want you to know divine muscles we are one i know that you're my one i know who you are and I want you to be able to forgive me for the fact that I didn't show up for myself and I wasn't choosing myself and the way I behaved because I was in fear mode. <clears throat> your voice does things to me. So your Divine Feminine absolutely loves your voice, Divine Masculine. It does things to them, drives them crazy. So you could have an accent, Divine Masculine, if your Divine Masculine is watching. There's something about your voice that does something to your divine feminine um and at the bottom of the deck is i can't put into words how much i love you yeah the divine feminines can't put explain and the divine muskins can't explain how much you know you love each other it's it's out of this world you cannot describe it or explain it it's something that's unspoken and it's just something that's felt and it is very frustrating for the ego because we do want to use words and we do want to share it with everybody. We want everybody to know, but all it's important is that you feel it and that's what you felt. And it has driven you crazy um, by feeling it. It's caused so many different things, but it's all divine. Um, you're meant to feel that unexplainable love and have that knowing. Um, so beautiful messages from the divine masculine and the divine feminines to each other. So let's see what God, the universe, the angels want you to know um, on this Christmas day. So I'm going to go for the power of love um, to get the messages. I know I've already used it, but it's such a beautiful deck and such powerful messages on there. So this is support guidance for your journey as well. Beautiful soul that's watching. What is the support and the guidance and what is the update for the beautiful soul's 
awakening journey, twin flame journey, what is it they need to know right now on this Christmas day? Nice, clear message. <clears throat> virtue you, you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow yeah so this is about you being you know both of everything that you're going through you and your twin flame you are such an amazing role models and you could have noticed recently that everybody is coming to you or they have done in the past as well but this is on a whole new level where people just cannot believe you and they want more of you and know that everything that you are going through on your journey is you. That is your mission. And it is supporting others. It is you you are the, the chosen one. You are the way shower. You are, you know, you you're being called to take the lead. And it doesn't mean to say that you've got to be someone that's very loud and vocal or um you've got to take this uh, huge action to do something that's taking the lead. By you taking action towards yourself, taking responsibility of yourself, being with yourself, that is being a great role model. That's showing the world and other people that are around you that you're being true to yourself and it's safe to be in your truth, to be the unconditional love that you are. This acceptance again. And at the bottom of the deck, we have patience again. So that's come through twice. Have patience with yourself. That's what's happening. You're learning this patience. That's the update. And, that, and the support and the guidance is, is to be compassionate and patient with yourself through this process of transformation, this change that you're undergoing right now. And know that what you're going through is, you know, helping so many other people. And that is your mission here on planet Earth is to help humanity, to heal this world. But you can't do that if you're coming from a place of being empty and not having any love for yourself, <laughs> not being comfortable with yourself. But that's what's changing. Um, so lots of people could be really drawn to you right now and want more of you because your energy is just so powerful, so beautiful and so pure. Um, and yeah, people just love you. So you're both wonderful role models. <laughs> And you're, you're, you're both taking the lead and helping others by helping yourself. It's what the message from God, the universe, the angels want you to know on this Christmas day. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of Christmas day or evening, whatever time you're listening to this reading. I hope that you're smiling now and you're feeling peace. And yeah, you're just breathing. <laughs> And you, 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 you've, you've released some worry and that you're feeling safe through this channeling of what's come through today. And always remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. Merry Christmas to all of you that do celebrate. It. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying?